Before I start, all statistics belong to the CIA World Factbook. The USA, or the United States of America, is situated in the northern and western hemisphere of the world and is, current and is in the America's continent, has a population of 326 million people, which was last updated July 2017, according to the World Factbook. The USA has a birth rate of 12.5 births per 1,000 people. Below is a gif of what would of the world focusing on the US was in 50, 1950 all the way to 2090. As you can see here in the gif, the USA starts around a 2.5 to 3 person birth rate in 1950. And quickly within 20 years, 1970, goes down to about a 1.75 to 2 person birth rate and according to future statistics will stay that way until 2090. The USA has a death rate of 8.2 deaths per 1,000 people. Compared to the rest of the world, we are placed 85th out of 226 for least deaths among the world. This could be because of a lack of health care in our country, which is not free. Uh, and it can also be correlated to the education because it actually lacks behind. Also, according to the death rate... <laughs> It could be a bit high because in 1988, Dr. Andrew Wakefield had written a document about how vaccines and autism had a correlation. This document was later debunked, however, many people still believe they have a correlation. The USA has a 1.87 fertility rate, which means how many children are born under a woman. The USA has an infant mortality rate of 5.8 deaths per 1,000 live births. The USA is ranked 170 out of 225 in the world. In this case, the higher number the better. This could be because of a lot of infants when inside the womb can gain bacteria that is harmful and can kill them. The life expectancy in the USA is 77.7 years for a male and 82.2 years for a female. The USA is currently ranked 43rd out of 224th, in this case, the lower number the better. This is pretty good because of clean water and good food, as well as medicines like vaccines that can help people with small diseases that can turn into bigger diseases over time that have been learned through history. Here are two images of the population density and distribution among the United States. Most of the population is either in California or New Jersey. A survey asked on Quora.com where random people can answer, to see why so many people want to live in California, and it was said multiple times that it was because of nature, education, and attractions. Here is a comparison between the population pyramid of the 1980s on the left and the population pyramid of 2016 on the right. 36-year difference is humongous. Both females and males have grown and almost doubled from the age of 40 to about 90 years old. My multi-point plan is to have a decrease in population density by adding more parks, better education, and more attractions to places that do not have many people living in that area. Examples, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Wyoming. My second plan is to have having to do with the economy. In this, Muslim refugees, which means a person who has been forced to leave their country in order to escape war, persecution, or natural disaster, will be deported back to countries like Syria and Iraq, where ISIS has recently been def defeated thanks to many big countries like the US, the UK, and France, and many more. This will make a huge cut in taxes because people will not need to pay for them in their taxes, and it'll make it more affordable for people to live in the USA. Thank you for watching.